What's going on YouTube? It's Tyler and today I'm going to list 10 advantages to over-the-air television compared to cable and satellite. First I wanted to welcome all my new subscribers to this channel. I'm going to be posting videos throughout the coming weeks and months listing everything that I know about over-the-air television, tips to improve your signal, how to install an antenna. So if you're looking to learn more information about over-the-air television, subscribe to my channel and I'll keep you guys posted. Now, a little known fact about over-the-air television is this is how it originally started out when televisions were marketed in America. They were essentially marketed the same way radios were, where you would buy the television, set up an antenna, and whatever broadcasts were locally in your area or maybe up to 70 miles away, you'd be able to pick up with an antenna. The only reason cable had started was because some areas, and it happened to be the area I grew up in, the Poconos, could not get a clear signal from the mountain pass blocking the way. My grandfather was an installer of both televisions and television antennas, and he mentioned that back in the 70s is when people started to get cable. Just because, you know, there was more channels available and you didn't have to rely on tuning the antenna back in the analog days. But along the line, cable kind of lost touch with its customer base. They started charging outrageous rates and blocking out channels, so over the years making a comeback, and I'm very proud for those of you that are watching my channel and getting all the information you need to set up an antenna. So the first advantage of over-the-air television to cable and satellite is pretty obvious, it's free. You don't have to worry about paying a monthly bill. All you have to do is pay for the antenna and maybe run a wire, of course, ground it properly and all that stuff. Costs on average about $100, $200, maybe $300 if you're getting a really, really large antenna. And after that, you don't ever have to worry about paying a bill. Another advantage of over-the-air television compared to cable and satellite that not many people are aware of is that the picture quality is actually better than what you would get on cable or satellite. Over-the-air television broadcasts at an average of 20 megabits per second. Cable is about 10 megabits per second, and direct TV dish network is about 5 megabits per second. Another advantage to over-the-air television is that you don't need any kind of cable box or converter box to hook up multiple TV sets as long as they were purchased within the last 10 or 12 years. All you got to do is hook in the cable, scan for the channels, and you can be watching TV simultaneously on all of them at the same time without the need of monthly fees, renting cable boxes. I'm sure you Comcast customers love that. Drop them and get over-the-air TV. Another advantage of over-the-air television is you can pick up TV stations that are not available in your market. One fine example of this is that I live in the Lehigh Valley, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and we are considered the Philadelphia market. Now, the scranton Wilkesbury stations cover Stroudsburg, which is about 30 miles from Lehigh Valley, and I have a lot of routes to that area. These channels are not available on any cable or satellite provider in my area because, as I mentioned, it's a Philadelphia market, and the big TV channels in Philadelphia don't want any competition, so they forced them off the cable systems a few years ago so by having an antenna I'm able to tune in and watch these channels where I wouldn't have otherwise done so. Another advantage of over-the-air television is you can pick up subchannels that usually aren't available on the basic cable lineup. Subchannels are essentially extra networks that are broadcast on your local channels containing everything from sports, comedy, sci-fi, old shows. These subchannels have some really good programming. For example, Buzzer is a vintage game show network. It shows a bunch of vintage game shows that were aired between the 1950s and 1980s. MeTV has episodes of Alfred Hitchcock and The Twilight Zone and also has a Saturday night horror movie host known as Fenguli. Now another advantage of over-the-air television, I think this is really cool, you see television about 10 to 15 seconds sooner than people on cable and satellite. Now the reason for this is when you get television through an antenna, you're getting the direct signal. While if you're watching on cable or satellite, the signal has to go to the cable company, they have to compress it, send it through a bunch of computers, and then send it to you. There's about a 10 or 15 second delay compared to over-the-air television. I'll tell you a really cool story about this. Several years ago when I went to Penn State, my roommates never had cable, so naturally I hooked up an antenna to get the local channels, and when Penn State would play an away game, we watched the football game, and of course you guys know what it's like when your favorite football team gets a touchdown, you make a lot of noise and all that. We would make the noise about 10 seconds before our neighbors did, so it was almost like we were looking into the future we would all go crazy like yeah and then about 10 15 seconds later after we had let it all out we would hear the neighbors go yeah that's because they were watching on cable and it was almost like we could see into the future it was really cool 
All right, enough about my college days. Another advantage of over-the-air television is you don't have to worry about local blackouts due to retransmission disputes. And what that means is sometimes the broadcasters demand too much for the over-the-air signal, and the cable provider will say, no, I'm not gonna pay that for your channel, and then they're off the local cable provider. Another cool thing about over-the-air television is if you live in an area that gets maybe a lot of snowstorms or severe weather, and you get power outages that can last a day or two at a time, you can still watch television using a portable set. Another advantage of over-the-air television is if you purchase Air TV, you can watch your local channels anywhere in the world that has an internet connection. Now I can tell you if you have Comcast or another cable provider, they usually don't allow you to watch your local channels through the internet if you're outside your house. And a lot of times, even if they do, they're not available outside your market. For those of you that like TiVoing and DVR, you'll like this advantage. You don't have to pay any monthly fees if you purchase an over-the-air DVR. There's plenty of models out there. I know Channel Master makes one. There's a bunch of converter boxes that have a built-in DVR. I even have a review of one in my other YouTube videos. But you don't have to pay any fees, any monthly fees for the over-the-air DVR. You just buy the box and then use as much as you want. So those are 10 advantages of over-the-air television, some of which you may not have known. Now that you know, feel free to enjoy your free DVR, your out-of-market stations, and brag to your neighbors how you're seeing that NFL game 10 seconds sooner and better quality compared to what they're getting. Now, if you guys have any questions about how over-the-air TV works or what channels you might get in your area, what antenna I'd recommend, feel free to leave it in the comments section. I'll make sure to get back to you. Subscribe to my channel for other antenna-related updates and have an awesome day.